hi there and welcome to my live stream on Monday the 12th of December. I'm going to be talking today about your shadow and doing some more shadow work with you. Give me a minute while I just find myself on here and share it. Let me do this. Oh, it takes a little while for them, for uh, Facebook to, to realise I'm live, I find. Here we go, where are we? Still live and I'm still waiting. Two seconds. No. Nope. Well, I'm going to let that be then. So let's talk today about shadow work. Now, I was live streaming on Friday about your golden shadow, which is the potential within. So your shadow is not just about all of the things that are negative within you or you feel are negative within you, because actually none of it is. Your shadow is about the different parts of you that you aren't comfortable with, the, that are somehow outside of your awareness. So, as I said, we looked at your potential. Now today I'd like to give you a little few tools on, to, on how to um, uncover repeating patterns in your life and maybe give yourself a choice to change them. So, our shadow, our unconscious, um, governs about 90% of our behaviour and a lot of the time it's completely um, outside of our awareness. We just carry on behaving a certain way because that's something that has been imprinted in us. Um, from the age of naught to 7 we're in that sort of sponge-like state where we're vulnerable and we aren't emotionally mature in any way so we just accept all of the different things around us and survival is key. So we manage to fit ourselves into boxes that are given to us from those around us. So if you like, a little bit of a, an example for you is perhaps you find that you are um, repeating romantic relationships. Now, whether you're a man or whether you're a woman, it doesn't matter. It will be to do with how you related with your mother or with your father. Um, and how they related to each other within your family unit. So for me, I tried all so hard as a, as a small child to be seen and heard or felt like I was being seen and heard by my father. Um, bless him, he had a great relationship with my sister um, and I would jump through hoops and do all sorts of things just to get him to notice and always feel that I fell short of being worthy of his love and attention. That is something that I carried through into my adult life in the way that I um, fulfilled my relationships, not just with men, but with friendships as well. I would go 100%, 110%, 120% out there to make um, my friend, my, my lover, think that I was the one. I would fight for that position um, and I would always keep um, finding that I came up short, that it never actually worked out the way I wanted it to. Now that's a repeating pattern and that was held within my unconscious. So the way to look into your own shadow is to notice the out external situation that's coming towards you. Um, notice how that makes you feel. So what is triggering your emotional response? What is your emotional response? And then you can have a track back. Just do it in the past year. How many times has, has this happened? How many times has this happened? What is your response? Is it working? And I'd say if you're repeating a pattern, it is because your response isn't the best one that you could be giving. Now, if you want to look deeper into your shadow, then I'm here to help you. I want to help you. This is my role and um, it's a passion of mine. So do get in touch, put um, any questions that you have in the comments and I will come back and um, answer everybody individually. If there's insight that's coming through for you, I'll channel that. And if you, it looks to me like there's something in your energy that needs shifting, I'll do that for you too. So I will see you in the comments. Bye guys.